Hello everyone, it's me, Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share yet another trading plan with you. As usual, uh, we are going to cover one uh, currency pair and we are going to look at a few different time frames and the possible scenarios on those uh, time frames. Uh, we will mainly focus our trading plan on one time frame but uh, a multi-frame analysis is always better, that's why we tend to look at at least uh, two or three different time frames. Uh, also in this video uh, we are going to cover the future possible entry spots and as usual live signals will be posted on our telegram channel so uh, if you haven't joined us there yet do it now so you don't miss out on the live signals we post. Now let's get started. Uh, this trading plan will be a short-term trading plan. Uh, we are going to look at the Great British Pound Canadian Dollar Currency Pair. Uh, and as you can see I've already marked uh, some areas. Uh, now I want to uh, talk a bit about the scenarios I uh, expect and why do I expect them. Now first thing first you can see that after this huge and uh, very very long uptrend, uh, this is the H4 chart by, chart by, by the way, uh, the price has reached uh, this area where it consolidated for a while. You can see also uh, the Bollinger Bands uh, started to squeeze around the price. Uh, before this squeeze, uh, we can also consider this as a range, especially on a lower time frame like H1. Uh, and this range was broken and the price made a significant move down uh, before stopping somewhere here. Uh, and then now we are seeing a uh, move up again and currently the price is standing inside of uh, this range. Now uh, the top of the range or this H4 resistance from where this downtrend started aligns with this stoppage here and you can see uh, this stoppage was uh, once again uh, happened after a very very strong and uh, constant move up and uh, the downtrend from that area uh, was uh, with the almost the same uh, strength as this uptrend uh, actually it kind of reached all the way down to the starting point of this uptrend so uh, in this case here we will be hoping for uh, the same cycle to happen so I'll be looking to uh, sell the currency pair in the upcoming days or even weeks uh, but the question is where uh, to sell the pair now uh, for me looking at the H4 I see a few possible scenarios uh, the first one is for the price to reach back to this H4 resistance area and uh, for us to see the formation of a double top right here. Uh, usually double top or formation uh, tends to confirm a change in the trend so we can expect of course if a double top formation occurs we can expect a very strong downtrend from that point. Uh, so from this resistance I'll be looking for a sign out to sell the pair and I expect for the price to reach all the way down to this uh, sort of a range it formed here. You can see that this area acted as a support over here uh, and if we go back we can see that on a few other occasions we had a reaction from that zone. Uh, this was a little bit higher up but still. So uh, this is one of the scenarios uh, I expect to see on this pair. The other is uh, for us to see this H4 currently, uh, this H4 candle to close uh, as a bearish candle instead of a bullish one uh, like it is now uh, which would mean that uh, a bounce is confirmed from the uh, this H4 support area which was the, bo uh, the bottom of this uh, range 
and now we expect it to act as a resistance. So if we consider the first uh, downtrend wave to be this one and this to be a correction, I would expect this correction to stop at this H4 support, now H4 resistance area, and for the price to continue further down, forming a new bottom. So uh, this candle is very important. If uh, we see a bearish candle here, I am more inclined to start looking for sell opportunities immediately. But if the price uh, retraces back inside this uh, area, this reversal area, I may call it, uh, I would wait for the price to reach this H4 resistance up here or the top of the range and to look for sell opportunities there. Now, this is regarding the H4. Uh, let's check out the H1 time frame uh, and I'll post my plan on the H1. Uh, since we'll be looking for more short term trades with uh, some part of our positions uh, left. Uh, uh, in the long run. Uh, so what we are seeing on the H1 is a huge um, uptrend so far and as you can see uh, we are already having some reaction from this uh, sort of small uh, how to call it range inside of the H4 range. Uh, if we use a rectangle we can place it like that. So there is a huge chance for the price to actually bounce uh, from here uh, for us to see the next one or two H1 candles uh, to be red and thus uh, the H4 candle to be red. So uh, this is one of the areas I will be looking for. Uh, I'll be looking for sell trades. Uh, this is one of the scenarios for the price to start dropping uh, from this point. Of course, uh, like the H4, I expect if we see a break of this uh, H4 support, which turned to a resistance, if we see a break and a retrace of the price inside of this uh, zone, I would expect for the price to reach this H4 resistance, uh, then it will most likely remain in sort of a range again here before uh, continuing down. Uh, those are the two scenarios I'll be looking for on the H1. Uh, you can look for position uh, for entry points on the M30 or H1 or if you want to play this uh, more long term you can look for entry points on the H4. Now uh, the two main entry points I'll be looking for uh, will be uh, first this one right here uh, because the price is inside of this H4 support and we might expect a bounce from here from this zone as general and the other spots will be if the price reaches back to this H4 resistance or this uh, top of the range of the previous range. Uh, as a target I would consider uh, this stoppage here as a good intraday target. You can see how the price reacted from that zone, especially on the H1 and lower time frames. So we had a reaction here from that zone, here. Uh, also after the break, it acted as a support. Here it acted as a support for quite a while and then the price moved back up. So this would be uh, my first target zone. Uh, then we'll most likely see a slight correction and a break of this zone. So the second target zone would be uh, this previous bottom here. And the third and more long term and final uh, target zone will be this green area, which we marked on the H4. Uh, now, of course, I just want to say here that also a possible scenario is for the price to continue further up, breaking this H4 resistance. Uh, probably after that we'll see a correction back to the H4, broken H4 resistance, which will turn into a support, and then a continuation of the uptrend. Now if this scenario plays out, uh, I'm more inclined to stay away from this market uh, due to the fact that 
if we reopen the H4, you can see uh, how strong the uptrend is so far and uh, a continuation of this uptrend uh, would leave you to enter uh, very late, first of all, somewhere here, as uh, this new wave, if we consider this new wave uh, part of the uptrend, started all the way from here. So this is kind of late and an investment here won't give us um, that much of uh, that good of a risk reward ratio. So I'm more inclined if we see a break of this H4 resistance to just uh, focus on my other trading plans instead of this one. Uh, but if we actually see a reversal from this H4 resistance or even right now on this H4 support that actually already turned into a resistance, uh, I'm more inclined to enter on the market with a bigger investment. So between one to three, three percent. Now, if I decide to trade uh, this buy scenario here, uh, it would definitely be with a very small investment between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 maybe, or actually 0 0.5 is okay. Uh, so, and I will definitely trade uh, with an intraday approach, not with a long-term one. This is it regarding this plan. Uh, the trading plan will be posted on TradingView and uh, in the description section below the plan you can find all the zones we talked about uh, in numbers. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow I'll make a recap on my uh, last week's trading plan, uh, which we had one position. Uh, at first it gave good results, but unfortunately uh, after a very strong run-up, uh, our stop loss was hit. Nevertheless, uh, the plan is still active and we will continue looking for possible opportunities on it. As I said in the beginning of this video, live signals will be posted uh, on our Telegram channel. So join us now there. Uh, we already have more than 200 uh, participants and uh, we'll do our best to provide you with uh, profitable signals. Our team wishes you a great and profitable week. Thank you very much.